Great, we'll take two. Welcome back, guys. We have fixed our technical difficulties, so thanks for hanging tight with us. Once again, welcome. Thank you for joining us tonight here live from the Beholden studio. I'm Laura Conley, and I am so excited to share some special new launch product with you tonight. Uh, first, I want to say, again, thanks for joining us. A big congratulations to all our brides and brides-to-be, newly engaged, um, joining us out there. If you're new to the brand, just telling you a little bit about Beholden. Um, so we are an expert retailer who curates beautiful, incredible collections from around the globe, um, all tailored towards giving you a unique wedding experience. So I'm really excited to share some additional product that we're bringing in. Um, I have with me two um, unbelievable guests, our very, very insanely talented in-house designer, Maria Corabilis, and wedding expert extraordinaire, Anna Olson from The Brides Magazine, here with us today. Um, as if that wasn't exciting enough, we also have a contest to so stick around till the end of this show today, guys. There'll be a link where you can enter to win one of the incredible gowns you see today. All right, so let's get the party started. Uh, you are about to see some never, never seen behind the scenes footage of our campaign video. So let's roll it. Your veins. Exceptionary, no dictionary can define what's genuinely indescribable. Very exceptionary, no ordinary phrase can capture you. Now, some might say that. You're tremendous, you are so much more stupendous, so magnificent, so magnanimous, if we voted it be. So, I can tell you, it doesn't matter how many times I've seen that video, every single time, and it's been in the hundreds now, I get giddy. So, let's not wait any longer. Welcome, Maria, Anna, we're so excited to talk to you. Uh, let's talk dresses. Amazing. Hi, I'm Anna. i Price Olson. I am the editorial director at Brides, and I am so excited to be here. Thank you so much for including me in this really special exclusive first look. That campaign video is just so romantic, and the dresses are stunning. So congratulations on a beautiful collection. Lori, can you tell me about um, the collection? It's entirely exclusive to Beholden, which is so special. What makes this collection unique? Yeah, so um, Beholder was founded over a decade ago on the premise that we are going to have a unique um, approach to weddings. And so throughout the years, we've done an incredible job bringing emerging new talented designers to the market um, and into our stores. Um, but when we look at the expression of what we believe in and um, our creative vision, it felt incomplete without us being able to take um, from inception to creation, our own product to floor. So what you're going to see today is dreamed of by the Beholden team and produced and brought to you by the Beholden team. So it's a really proud moment for us. It's like our baby. We cherish it. And uh, we're so excited to share it with everybody here today. Well, and of course, we have the designer of the collection here, Maria. Congratulations. It's beautiful. Um, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your experience as a designer and also like what inspired this collection? Yeah, well, hi, everybody. I'm Maria. Um, so glad to see all of this fun commentary in the chat. I love it. Um, so my experience as a designer, I, I've, you know, can't believe I'm going to say this, but I've been designing for over 20 years. I have quite an extensive background, but um, as it relates to Beholden, I had a collection myself. It was very dress focused. Um, worked a lot with brides on custom gowns and I've worked with a lot of the urban brands over my years. And so um, I have recently been with Beholden just um, creating this collection for everyone. And I think the ethos of the brand was just what was really important to us to capture in this collection. So um, kind of the focal point was the concept of modern heirlooms and what makes these pieces really special and unique and a lot of that really originated in some of these original textile developments um, and just making sure that we captured the essence of the different versions of brides that we cater to within that. So that was kind of our starting point. 
I love that. And you're inspired by global destinations, some different areas, architecture. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah. So, um, you know, I have to say, this is going to sound, I'm sure all of you have probably gotten in this moment, but at the time we started this collection, we were all obsessing over Bridgerton. <laughs> so um, that really kind of catapulted us into looking in this Regency era of textiles. So we started, you know, I love old European textiles. I love artisanal craftsmanship. Um, you know, with fast fashion being so prevalent, we're losing a lot of these crafts. So we really looked into a lot of um, just original textile processes that we wanted to champion and bring back and modernize. So um, yeah, that that would probably be the overarching kind of point of view. And then um, sourcing amazing textiles that could inspire us to develop further. I love that. And you mentioned really that the collection appeals to a different um, style. So we all know there's not one style bride today. There's modern brides and romantic brides and boho brides. Lori, can you tell me a little bit about like what kind of bride you see wearing this collection and loving the collection and kind of what they're going to love? Sure. Um, there are muses, right? So we yeah, always um, like to think that it's not just one bride that comes to behold in. Um, she is a, a many different type of bride who's building her love language and she comes to us for our, our unique vocabulary. So we think about our poets, which are our romantic, our, uh, you know, feminine detail loving brides. Um, we have our wanderers who, as the name suggests, have wanderlust in their soul. They like to go off the beaten path and take a different approach to their gowns. And then we have our sophisticate who can be somebody who's clean and modern and sleek, um, or somebody who favors traditional. And so the beautiful thing about the way that Maria designed this collection is that we truly have something for all of those brides. And then, um, you know, the appeal of it is taking those pieces and then making them her own. It, we see such creativity coming from our Beholden Brides. Um, so we know that this is a great starting place for her to build that language. Love that. I also love that you don't have to be like only a romantic bride. You could maybe be like a modern bride for your rehearsal dinner and wear like one of the great mini dresses or and then be totally romantic and wear floral appliques for your wedding day. So you can definitely be um, all of the poets and romantics and modern muses. So I love that. I also love that the, the collection is not just gowns. So we have dresses, uh, jumpsuits, some minis, um, some other non-traditional styles. Maria, can you talk about those? Yeah, um, I, that was something that was really important to us to capture because we felt there was such a void in finding those pieces, not only if you wanted to do something non-traditional, but also just all of the events around the wedding. Um, so mm -hmm. it, you'd be surprised how hard it is to find an amazing piece that isn't just you know, a floor length gown. So um, we really tried to capture the most amazing jumpsuit that we could think of within this and a great set and the midi dresses and the mini dresses. Um, and I think as we move on, we're continuing to add to that assortment. So this is kind of just the beginning, but um, yeah, it's fun to think about all of it and all of the ways in which um, you know, brides might want to go about their moment because juxtaposition is everything nowadays. I, I think the days of um, just the gown at the ceremony, there's so much more that you can do and have fun with. It is about the whole weekend, that is for sure. <laughs> All the looks, all the looks. All the looks. Um, I also love that Maria, you and the Beholden, Beholden team really thought about not only the style of the bride who's going to be wearing these dresses, but the bride who's actually going to be wearing this dress. So Lori, can you talk a little bit about like the size inclusivity of the collection and also the price point? Yeah, for us, I mean, it is our brand ethos to ensure that anybody who's in love can be in love with a Beholden gown. So that is no matter your size or your, your budget. And so for us, it was really important starting out to make sure that we design into a collection that could service zero to 26 W. Um, and I think it's really important to note the love and care and development that goes into a project like that, because we don't fit just on one, um, you know, standard size six and then grade up. Um, every dress that is available in plus sizes is actually also fit on a plus body type. So we make sure that it flatters the curves appropriately has the, you know, the integrity of the structure that she's looking for. So for us, it's a real passion project. Um, you mentioned budget for us. That is one of the, the best parts about Beholden is you have these incredible, unique, distinct pieces that look like a million bucks, but are not. Um, so the entire
entire collection you're going to see is under twenty five hundred dollars, um, which as you know, a, a buyer, um, I was blown away by because you have such handcrafted details in this thoughtful layouts. Um, these are all laid out by hand, these, these styles. So um, for us, it's really incredible to be able to bring this level of product to our customers at, the re at these retails. It's amazing. And the craftsmanship is just beautiful. Maria, can you talk about the craftsmanship and the design process? What was it like bringing these dresses to life? And jumpsuits and minis. And oh, all my goodness. <laughs> well, it's definitely, you know, the thing that's really amazing about this collection, particularly with um, an urban group brand is that they really truly championed the process. So um, when they tasked me with doing this, it was take your vision, do your process, bring it to us. We want it. We're going to figure out how to offer that. So that in and of itself is a huge feat right now, I feel like in industry, but um, the process, it's always every store, every dress has its own story. There's always a starting point. I mean, I'm so design focused that everything is about achieving that visual and getting that that design um, process in the the story of the garment. I don't ever want to just take something that exists. I want to design that. So uh, it's really a journey with our very um, elevated vendors that we collaborate with because they have to make it. So it's always kind of looking at what do they do best? How do we work with them and their innate skill set? How can they, I mean, we really hand choose the path of every garment. Mm -hmm. um, and with that, you know, speaking to price and everything, we're really conscious of fibers and, and, and making sure that the content equals the cost that we need, but making sure that it's still elevated and all of those things. So it's just such a carefully chosen process for each of these gowns. Um, and that's what I'm really proud of at this um, level of offering, you know, they're just so special. I love that. I think, I think what's also incredible. So having a design talent like Maria in our family is, I mean, I, every day, I think my lucky stars for it, but she will literally go to an antique market and find a tablecloth that inspires the cut -watt work of a dress that you'll see. Right. And so it is, it's truly that design intent and that inspiration that sparks her imagination. So, you know, for us, it's, um, every gown has these incredible stories. Yeah. Antique uh, claws are my favorite. <laughs> I, I also love the Daphne gown, which is inspired by what wallpaper, perhaps? Yes. So um, I am just really feeling the wallpaper right now. Mm -hmm. Actually, kind of always. That's an always inspiration for me, but I, I think it's really having a moment. There's this kind of micro trend of grand millennialism happening and all of the old world textiles and the Regency era. Um, so we uh, we really went for it with that gown. And I think that's such a moment making gown. Um, so, you know, in our, our championing of color for brides, that was definitely something we wanted to make sure we had included. Okay. I really think when you describe the collection as um, a modern heirloom, it's really just sums it up perfectly. Like you're really making these old, old, beautiful, amazing um, things new again. And I think that that goes for the dress, but also for the accessories. I know in the campaign video, we saw a little glove moment, a little bow moment, a beautiful headband, like talk about the accessories, Maria. Like, what do you see like pairing with these gowns? Like, what are you, what, what goes with the puff sleeve? What goes with the high neck? Like, how do you see um, bride styling this? So it's funny that you mentioned that because when I was designing, I fully envisioned the look. It wasn't just, sometimes your gown is simple because you want that amazing veil and right. you can't wear wow and wow together. It's too much, right? Um, so I think, you know, when I think about some of, you know, the color pieces, for example, the Daphne gown, if I'm wearing that as a bride, I'm probably going to put a really dramatic amazing but simple veil with it just to really get the bride look out of it um i think uh you know headpieces are really big i love um a great headpiece with um some of these gowns in particular um there's the daisy gown which is very much modeled after a golden moment so you really need to kind of play that up with what you pair with it so I think a lot of times it's the styling that's the creme de la creme on the look. And you really have so many options with, with um, the directions you can go, but it also amplifies the look. And it also kind of 
sets the tone for how you design the rest of your wedding. So I think if you can really nail the dress, everything else kind of designs itself because it can inspire the palette of your wedding party, the tablescape, the color of the florals. Um, so it's all about that balance and um, cohesion, as we say. <laughs> I love that. At Brides, we're definitely all about, about letting the fashion inspire everything from the, from the cake yeah. to the flowers and all of it, completing your vision. Um, okay, so it's 2022 officially, which seems crazy. Um, so I have to talk about trends. And I definitely saw a lot of trends in the collection that we're seeing um, at Brides. I saw lots of volume, um, corset bodices, beautiful organza and sheer materials. Um, Maria, what, what are you excited to see? What, what trend are you most excited for in the collection? Well, all right, there's trends and then there's my personal favorites. So I'll speak to my personal favorites, which I am just obsessed with volume right now. I love volume, drama, everything. So for me, the Marina gown with, I also love a puff sleeve in case you couldn't tell, but I'm, I'm so happy they're having, they're, they're not going anywhere. They are here to stay. But that gown to me really has, it's operating on every cylinder. It's got the amazing silhouette, the drama volume, the beautiful um, fabrication and the modern taffeta with the slub texture. And then to make it ours and make it truly unique and make that silhouette make sense for us, we just blew out some amazing cut work. And it, it's just, I just love that gown. Um, again, I think the color is a huge trend. I think that brides should not shy away from just being who they are. And if that means color and print, just go for it, believe in it. Um, and of course, corsetry is huge in every possible iteration. Um, we are ex expanding on that kind of daily, <laughs> how many different ways we can reiterate that and make it fresh and interesting. So um, there's a lot, but those are some of my favorites. I love that. And Lori, what about you? So I echo the color statement for me being in 2022, where we are now uh, rewriting every rule to weddings just because they've been so shuffled around and, um, and challenged in terms of just where, when and where they can happen. Um, I love the idea of bringing in color to sort of like change the game to break the rules. So, um, you know, you're going to see an array of color here. I personally have pull it my heartstrings with the blush tones. I think they're just so romantic and so feminine, um, but I think it's just a great way to have a standout moment. It's your only time that you're going to wear a dress this fabulous. So why not go for it, right? I completely agree. And I really think, as you mentioned, like, you know, through the pandemic, we've learned so much and it's been, you know, such a time, especially for, you know, couples planning weddings. But I think what's really refreshing and exciting to see in 2022 is seeing like, you know, break the rules, you know, wear blush if you want to, wear a mini dress, like really right. do what you want and have the wedding that you want and um, make it your own. So I love that that is reflected in the collection. So, so exciting. Yeah. So all this talk of trend, um, I don't know about you guys, but I can't actually wait to see the dresses any longer. So I'm going to invite our beautiful models um, up on stage with me. First, we have Kiara. She is wearing the Marina dress that uh, Maria was so passionate about. Um, this is one of our pinnacle pieces of the assortment. So Maria, let's talk about what makes her so special. So let's see. I, ooh, there she is. Um, well, first and foremost, we were on such a hunt for the best taffeta quality that we could find. And so many of them can still be kind of slick or shiny. We came across this really amazing um, silk cotton taffeta that has the tiniest little bit of texture in it. It just feels really fresh and modern. Um, but I think the silhouette here is really, um, just kind of what I'm loving. I'm loving the volume. I love the uh, dramatic sleeve and I just love the bold cut work. So I think that's what makes it really special. And um, yeah, I love this gown. Amazing. The other thing to note is with this piece um, in terms of alterations, if you need to take it up or um, you don't wanna to touch the scallop hem at the cut work, you can just um, shorten from that tier. So something to note for brides and their alterations. Important, right? Thanks, Kira. So up next, we have Makara in the Brigida gown. Um, the Brigida, we are so obsessed with everything floral. I think it just goes to show with uh, my beautiful backdrop here. So Maria, talk about the inspiration that got us to this dress. 
So the Brigitte gown, um, we were really inspired by old love letters and pressed florals and books. And so we kind of um, use that as the basis to develop this embroidery, which um, the base cloth is an all over embroidery. And then we applique by hand on top to have that three dimensional texture. And I think one thing that you can't see in this gown is there's an amazing infrastructure under there that really, um, there's, there's corsetry, there is um, color play. So you feel really good when you're in it. And this particular dress honestly looks amazing on so many different body types. Um, and I love the applique strap as well. I love it. I love it. And I think that you hit on such an important thing, Maria, because of how these gowns are built and how extraordinary they, they hold you in and make you feel confident. These are gowns every shape and every size should be thinking about. So thank you so much. So I'm going to throw a wild card out there. Uh, Maria, I couldn't help but bring a couple mannequins into the studio just because I did talk about how much I loved color. Um, and I really want to just talk about how brides should approach color. You talked a little bit about how to accessorize with color, um, but I brought two of my favorites on so that we can showcase what that looks like in our collection. All right, so we have the daisy gown, uh, which is at my left, Lori, your right. <laughs> um, so in particular, that was the gown I was speaking to earlier. Um, this one is actually Cordelia, so I'll switch gears here. So this is the Cordelia gown. And basically what you are, what we're loving here is this incredible artwork. So this was inspired by um, butterfly gardens and it's this incredible mix of this lofty embroidery with hand beading. Um, and that's really what you're paying for with this gown. Um, we have had hours and hours of, of artisans literally sitting at frames by hand working on this. Um, and of course the fabric is lovely, but we're also just loving that dusty kind of muted shade of um, rose. And I think that's a nice play on the blush tones um, that we always kind of love in the bridal space. But this is really that dramatic kind of, um, again, like if you're into shapeless direction and those kind of amazing caftan moments and just some beautiful artwork, this is a really lovely piece. Um, I hope you guys can appreciate the details on screen as much as I do in person because they're impeccable. Um, they truly have texture, they have beading, they, they have little glimmers and little shine to them. It's just luscious and it's still it's just a quiet moment too, which is pretty nice. Um, this is one of my absolute favorite dresses. So honey, if you're watching at home, this is the one I'll wear next when we renew our vows. <laughs> So I mean, I, I'm not going to lie. That's one that I would love to just have my luxurious lounging <laughs> fantasy in my beaded amazing <laughs> gown. Um, the one uh, next to that is the daisy gown. And that was the one I was speaking to earlier where that sort of golden moment is sort of how that was envisioned. So um, this isn't a true ivory. It's definitely more in that golden hue. And I say accessorize this up and really make yes. that moment, but you can also have a quieter moment if you desire. Um, it's a really great accessorizing gown. It's really great to keep it simple. You can just work it in so many different ways. But one of the amazing things about that gown also is there's some beautiful embroidery um, done by hand on there and it's raised and it has this lovely dimension and it's this mirrored artwork. So it's just really flattering and really beautiful. Amazing. Well, thanks for indulging me and showing these off. Um, so I know that you guys at home, there's a lot of you who may be newly engaged, just starting your process. Um, Maria touched upon alterations and I always get asked, um, being in the bridal industry, when do I start looking? What do I do first? Um, and I am a firm believer that so much starts with the gown um, because to all the points we made earlier, it inspires your wedding party. It inspires sometimes even your location. Um, and so, you know, typically um, nine months beforehand is when we tell people, but the great thing about Beholden, if you're new to the brand, is we actually have inventory on hand of these dresses. So meaning if you went on Beholden.com right now, you could order this and have it in your home in just a few days. So um, the great part about that is you have plenty of time for your alterations, but um, with, with any dress, um, they don't always stick around. There's limited editions. So once you find the one you love, commit to it, love it, stare at it, 
I mean, I did for a very long time with my wedding dress. So um, that's definitely me, definitely my advice for you guys. And as you're thinking about your bridal journey. Um, so we have a few more dresses on our models. Um, Kiera is going to come back out in the Daphne, which we talked about. I mean, when you think about wallpaper, you don't necessarily pair it back to bridal. But in this instance, it works so incredible. So Maria, talk to us about this one. So this is another love of mine. I love this silhouette. It's a bit more clean through the body. You do What you can't see here is there is a hidden uh, bustier in there with a stay to really keep that on. Um, but this has really beautiful lines, uh, drama, ruffled tears at the hem, but it really is an homage kind of to, you know, that old world wallpapers. And we just loved that for a bridal moment. So again, I think with the accessories, and there's so many ways you could play this gown. You can wear it as your ceremony gown. Um, you can dramatize it with a veil. You could wear it as your rehearsal gown. I mean, there's so many ways you could pair it. This is even if you want to get, you know, I'll just stop myself. <laughs> so <many ideas. laughs> I mean, it's so much fun. Why stop? I was going to say too, I think um, a gown like this is such an incredible way to weave in your bridesmaids colors too, right? So if you think about this print, it's got greens, which are very trendy right now in the world of bridesmaids. It's got that blushy tone. So it could be a great way for you to tell your full fashion story. Um, so I love that as an option from uh, the inspiration here. So thank you. Really appreciate it. And then we have our last dress coming out on Makara. It's the Gary gown. Um, you guys talked about earlier um, that the fact that all of these non-gown options are coming into the market. And we really wanted to have a unique perspective for the courthouse bride, for the bride who's looking for an after party dress, a cake cutting dress. And so um, talk to us, Maria, about this one and you know, really the vibes that you're going for. So, you know, in the discussion about novelty, which can so easily veer super romantic or super bohemian, we really wanted to make sure we captured that clean, minimal uh, direction as well. And how do we capture novelty in that way? So um, we also looked at modernist architecture. This dress is aptly named the Gary Gown because uh, we we're very inspired by a lot of the linear lines and pleats and just sharp angles. And so we put the drama up at the bodice um, and that bodice took a very long time to get those pleats <laughs> perfect. I will tell you that much. Um, but, you know, again, just with our extensive fit process and everything else, we really made sure that this looked good on, on again, so many ranges of body types. And you can see here how lovely it looks. Um, and I think that the other point to note that's pretty great about this dress, the fabric was also a bit of a sourcing mission because we needed to find something that would really hold that structure, but also have some give in the body to mold to your body. So we, thank goodness, found the most amazing fabrication that has just that tiny little bit of stretch woven in it, but it really holds that structure. And it's just a really great, wow minimalist dress and i when i see this i always just think amazing courthouse moment but i also see i see ceremony in so many ways and i i think slam dunk rehearsal dinner bridal shower i mean this goes so many it's just so versatile you talk about juxtaposition before maria something i love about a dress like this too is if you do wear it for your ceremony pair it back to a long veil and it becomes even more dramatic and unexpected. And I am just a sucker for any time you can have a shoe moment. So for me, going short, even if it's just for the reception to show off your shoes is a pivotal moment. So really important. Thanks yeah, I, I second that, Lori. I was just going to say, I would definitely do an insane shoe with that dress. Now is your chance. <laughs> Go big. So um, I'm sad to say, but this is the end of our time with you guys tonight. It has been an absolute pleasure to be with you, Maria and Anna. Um, to everybody at home, thank you for tuning in. As mentioned, we're going to drop a link in the, in the uh, chat so you can enter to win one of these incredible gowns. Um, you can see the balance of the collection at beholden.com. Don't forget to follow us also on Instagram at Beholden so you can check out all of our behind the scenes footage, all of our inspiration and more. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody. And happy launch day, Maria and Anna. Thank you again for joining us. Bye. Thank you, everyone.